welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. Today, what I want to do is actually go over Monster Synth. This is another one of those synthesizers that is absolutely free. And I actually did talk about it in my video where I was telling you guys about how to get some free VSTs for Reaper. So today what I'm gonna do is actually show you a breakdown of this monster synth and let's get into it. All right, so here we are at the monster synth site. So basically once you start scrolling down, you'll actually start to see uh, a regular website. So you keep going down to toward the bottom you come down here where you see the monster synth skins. So they have a light version and a dark version, right? And then you come down here to where you can download it. It does work on Windows and Mac. So you have those options on here. So it has a VST2. I would suggest to get the VST3 just so you'll know what folder it's actually loading in. Uh, if you didn't wanna do these downloads from here, they also have an, an, an alternative option to do it from a Google Drive if the above fails. So they give you another option to kind of download all this stuff as well. I would, like I said, highly suggest do VST3. And basically it's gonna give you the instructions on how to actually set everything up. All right, and as you see here, it says un unzip and put into your DAWs plugin folder. If you're not 100% sure where to go with this, uh, on Windows, I can show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna go to my files and I'm in my C drive. So I'm in my C drive. I'm gonna go down to program files. And once you're in program files, you want to scroll down to you see common files. So once you're in your common files, this is where your VST threes usually be safe right here into your VST three folder. And basically you just drag and drop that monster synth. And as you can see right here, I use basically drag and drop it from that zip file into this folder and you are good to go. So that is pretty much all you have to do for that part. All right. And once you actually download the, the first zip file to actually do the VST3, you have that set up and then you have to download the library. So these are where the sounds are, right? So you be, get to choose which one you want. You want the, the light skin or the dark skin one. I actually went with the dark skin one because I just like the dark uh, vibe. And I mean, of course, once again, they give you alternatives. And what's really cool is that they give you an option to put it to where you want to, wherever you want to put it. So if you have it in a, um, if you just want it in your regular folders for downloads, or you want it in an external hard drive, you can actually have it in different places. So for mines, I actually have mines on my drive. So I have an external drive and I have the monster synth library in here. So all the monster synth stuff is in here but you can put yours wherever you need to put your sounds. If you want to just leave it inside like your music folder, I would say that would be a good suggestion if you have enough space on your hard drive for that. And then when you actually open it, this is when you insert the synth to choose your library location. You can fire up the DAW and open up the plugin and the plugin will look like this, right? And it's gonna say they can't find any instruments and that's perfectly fine. So basically what you want to do is choose your folder to wherever you put their library stuff. So if you put it in your music folder, Make sure you go to the music and then actually load it up from there. And then you are good to go. All your music and everything will actually be in here, right? So that's from the website. This That's how you actually install it into Reaper or any other DAW. Basically, you'll have it for any other DAW if you wanted to actually use it for that. But let's get into the actual VST. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and this is what the Monster Synth looks like. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, this is the dark version, as you guys can see. Here are where all your sounds are actually at, so you can you know, tab back and forth in here, or you can just click on it, and it'll bring up your different sounds. So as you can see, it has a lot of basses, so about 29 basses, 15 bells, 18 brass, 11 hits, 32 leads, 14 mallets, 26 pads, which is really cool. Uh, 18 plucks, five risers, 11 strings, 10 boxes, and some weird sound effects. <laughs> so um, I think that gives you ample amount of sounds to actually use. And these are really, these are really good sounds. Um, I have no issues with the sounds that actually in here. 
Uh, so I will be making a beat in this video, show you guys exactly how it all sounds put together. The only thing it doesn't really have is drums. So uh, you have your volume control over here. So right over here is your volume control and this is your levels for your meter. So if you hit a key, you can see the meter is moving. You can also hit the keys on here, right? And uh, it tells you about the preset. It even tells you how to make the preset even better. It says you can turn on a distortion and maximize drive gain. So really, really cool options that they have inside here. So you have your voice mode here. So this is where you can change it to like poly. So you can actually have, you know, play different notes uh, at the same time. You have a mono mode. And it also has a legato. Right, so you have a legato mode on here as well. You have the velocity curve. You can make it weak or strong, which is pretty cool. You have an option to glide notes. So you can actually glide your notes. So Right, so you have the option to glide notes and you can even do like your cutoff type. So if you wanna do a high pass or a low pass, they give you that option here and then you can change the frequency of it. So if you're doing like a low pass, or a high pass, you can, you know, change your frequency. Right, so it's cutting off all the lows. Right, and if you wanted to do it the opposite way, you would do a low pass. Right, so really, really cool. So you have your attack, decay, sustain, and release for the uh, VST as well. Over here is your LFO setting, so you can actually change your uh, sign to a saw, a square. I'm not 100% sure what this one is, <laughs> but it's in there. <laughs> All right, um, you have a, a source, so basically the source is what will actually change the LFO, so if you can do an aftertouch, or you can even do like make it a velocity LFO, right? Uh, and the destination could be expression, pitch, or pan. I think that's really cool as well. All right, and you can, here's your rate and depth of how much you want the LFO to actually use and move around. You have an option for distortion here. So you can turn it on by just clicking on the little silver button. Uh, you have an option to mix it in, uh, in your drive and gain. So this is what is telling you here. This is this section. So. Right, so it gives you an option to kind of mess with all these things on here. You have a chorus on here, you have a delay, uh, and you also have a reverb. So you can change your size, the mix, the width, and the damping option for the reverb on here as well. So this is basically what it looks like. This is kind of how it it is for the monster synth. I think it's pretty cool. So let's see if we can actually create something. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this brass, this uh, great Matson. That's pretty much how it sounds. So let's see if we can kind of record something in here. All right, so I just changed the tempo, did a tap tempo one here, and it's gonna be like 86 beats per minute. And let's see if we can record something in here. All right, so this is what I actually did. Let me stretch this last one out just so that it'll actually go all the way through. I'll probably just leave a little break in there just so that it kind of uh, fades out a little bit there. Right. So really, really um, nice sounding sounds from uh, the monster synth. Uh, let's add a couple more and see what else we can make. All right, so uh, the next sound I'm gonna use is this mallet, this uh, moon dragon. 
think it sounds pretty cool. So I'm um, just going to kind of add on to this. All right, so I'll just probably use the first one on here and just kind of duplicate these over. Let's quantize them first. Quantize, and then I'm just gonna duplicate them over. So what I'll do is change up this last one here. All right, so I was gonna just kind of play in some plucks in here. This is what it sounds like right now. Right, something really simple, uh, but still very effective and can be used. So let's go and add another sound. Let's see if we can find something else. All right, so what I'll do is actually grab this one. I'm gonna use one of the bases that it has on there. Uh, just to kind of make this video a little bit shorter, I'm gonna take out these. All right, so I'll just leave it as this. So this is what it sounds like maybe. Maybe this, I'm gonna bring it down an octave. Right, so that gives it a nice little rumble feel underneath your track itself. So really, really nice um, synth bass there that they have inside of the monster synth. All right, so I'm gonna use these strings. It's called uh, Water Demon. It's actually the first one on there for the strings. And uh, this is what it sounds like. I think that's a pretty cool sound. So let's see if we can record that in. All right, so um, I was able to add the synth on here and this is what that synth strings sounds like. Right, something really simple to kind of put together, but it sounds good. That is the point of all of these like videos I've been showing you guys about VSTs. Uh, it sounds good. Like it sounds like something that you can actually use in everyday kind of uh, production. So let's see if we can get some drums in here. Uh, that is one thing that it does not have. It didn't have any drums inside here. It did have some risers. So let me see if I can add one of those in here. So if you're a person that's been looking for a riser, this actually has some really, really good ones. And it's like, once you once you hold down the key, so if I hit a key, right, it's gonna start, and when I let it go, it'll actually do like the crash or the, the letting go of the sound. So I think that's super cool. So if you have like, if you want like a really long kind of uh, riser, you have that option in here. Right, so it gives you a, a open and a release for it. So I think that's really cool. And they have a couple of them in here, All right? So I think I found a nice little box I can add on here as well. So this is the uh, Angel Coral. All All right, so I use this um, this Angel Corral as a Vox for this sound. So this is what it sounds like. I think that's pretty dope. All right, so I was able to add some drum loops in here. This is what the drum loops sound like together.
right? Nothing uh, spectacular, nothing like completely out of the box or anything like that. Just something to kind of finish off the track itself. So uh, this is what it sounds like all together with the monster synth. So if you haven't already, you can click on the link below in the description. It'll take you to the site to actually download monster synth. I think it's a really good tool to have in your arsenal if you don't have it already. So uh, let's hear what it sounds. Right. that's pretty much the end of this video i really appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching this if you haven't already you can download the link is below in the description of this video to get monster synth i think it's a really good synth to have in your arsenal uh especially if you're doing a lot of stuff for like bases and bass lines and synth bases that you want to use i think it has a really nice selection of that i also showed you the risers so if you're not a person that has a lot of risers it gives you an option to actually create your own riser inside of it and I think the sounds are really good. Um, yeah. So if you haven't already, make sure you are liking and subscribing to the channel. And once again, I want to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time, people. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.